Hi, welcome to the Conscious Spirit. I'm Pam. <laughs> She's Marilyn, and together we are TCS Everyday Psychics. So we open, so we open sacred space on this, and um, <laughs> this is what happened. <sighs> yes. Yeah. So instantly, Pam and I both felt that there was activity here. Uh -huh. um, and then all of a sudden, I just got, <laughs> I got so giddy. And yes. I can't sit still. I can't stop laughing. Um, there is quite possibly a trickster here. Or maybe it's just a, um, a really... <laughs> another reaction video oh my gosh okay the name, <laughs> the name of this. i'm so sorry okay Creature on third floor. <laughs> creature? Is that it? Is it creature? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think it's the creature on the third okay. floor. <laughs> Overnight at Stone Mansion. Oh this my. is another um, oh my Franco gosh. TV. Which you probably know from the title because we will put that in the title. Oh but. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so there's. I, yeah. I, I, I'm. <laughs> Usually, usually we don't do we we stop this, yep, and then we restart. So yep. she's not in the middle of this, and yep. we decided, you know what, you all have to see um, what she's she <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll take full yeah, responsibility for that. <laughs> I think that you all are ready to see this now. I, I think so. Yes, yes. Yeah, I so. think so. Yeah, S something in here. Yes. is is really um that yeah. high energy i don't even know what yeah. to call this yeah. Whew. it doesn't mean it's a high vibrational spirit no um it just mean there's some sort of um uh, it just strikes marilyn as just being funny yeah it just hits her um <laughs> yeah the um when I first felt it, it was just like this, um, like this little ball that just kept like moving. And then I found myself, I couldn't sit still. And then I started laughing. Yes. Um, and that energy just, yes. it's just too much. <laughs> yes. Kind of like we had this, um, this beautiful, um, uh, she's a meditator. <sighs> she was a part of TCS and she would come all the time. Mm -hmm. Her name is Michelle. So, hey, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Um, and she... <laughs> <laughs> she would we had little tricksters that were around all the mm -hmm. time and they would like hide stuff on us or whatever and mm -hmm. she could always hear them like giggling they thought it was so funny that they would trick us and so um these are happy tricksters not the there's some more mm. not so great yeah malevolent tr yeah. tricksters that's not them these are just like really um they're just they're just yeah they're just little naughty Yes, things. yes, a little naughty. That's mm -hmm. a good word. Just mm -hmm. a little naughty. Mm -hmm. They just think it's funny to hide stuff on us or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it kind of had that kind of feel. To yes, it. yes, yes, absolutely. So now some people, of course, can be very fearful when, you know, things get moved around or things happen. Mm -hmm. And it could mean all different things. It could be all types of entities, whatever. But um, in this case, <sighs> we're going to come up across, against, I think, just some... Some little trickstery mm -hmm. things. Yes. And every time we feel that energy, or I'll go, I'll put my coffee cup down, I'll turn around and do something, I'll come back and it's gone, and I'm like, Michelle! <laughs> <laughs> I always blame her. Yep. <laughs> yep. 
Woo. So yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, welcome. If you haven't been here <laughs> before, um, you just got a good dose of kind of who we are. Yep. Um, welcome back hey. to the rest of you. <laughs> yes. Uh, we've been working with the paranormal for 20 something years and decided to bring the ghost point of view because no one seems to yeah. do that. And yeah. we are also, um, this is a spiritual journey for us. This mm -hmm. leads, we are spiritual teachers and mentors and um, not just, I mean, we're psychic development teachers as well, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's all about the spiritual for us. So we're very spiritual. So this comes from yeah. that, um, that, way of thinking that perspective or that perspective that's yeah. the word yeah that's it because you got you know you, there are so many ghost hunters out there um yeah. and good thing i guess that there are because mm -hmm. that has allowed us to bring in the ghost point of view yep, yep. nobody does right. um it's all about the the ghost hunters and how they're perceiving what's yes. happening a very 3d <clears throat> very perspective 3D. there yeah. you go Woo, look i said it Perspective, very 3D perspective. Can you say mayonnaise? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> mayonnaise. Okay. <laughs> Man. They still got her. They got me. They, they got me good. Whew. So, um, so it's not just paranormal. We bring in the metaphysical and the spiritual perspective mm -hmm. too. But we are very spiritual people and. And all right, yeah. let's um, theconsciousspirit.net if you'd like to know more about us. And to get on the email list yes. so you know um, what new group things are going to be happening. Yes, and uh, all right, yeah. should we just go ahead and get started on this? We better get this? started because I got to know who these little <laughs> trickster naughty things yes. are here. Um, yes. And while we're getting on our ears, um, you know, if you want to subscribe, mm -hmm. like, um, share, you know, share. Yep. Everybody's going to want to see us. Yeah. Everybody needs a good laugh. Everybody needs a good laugh. <laughs> yes. So, and thank you to whoever uh, requested. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We just sort of keep a, a running list. And a lot of times uh, you'll just, we've done Franco before and we like him. Mm -hmm. we're, we're very happy to come back to him. Um, yeah. But uh, this one, we just kind of, we, he was coming up again, and we just kind of did the boop, yep. that one. Um, and we're just going to watch the whole thing in its entirety. We're not, uh, we didn't have our dude look at it or anything, so we're just, uh, there might be something in the in the beginning of this that we think, oh, darn, we shouldn't have watched, but we're just going to go ahead with Might that. be. But, all right. I'm thinking not. Yeah. But. All right. All right. So all right, Franco, what do you got? Let's do this. again it's moving this is something that's in rumor and my light just turned off hell no what the f was that if you ever love me What's up guys, thank you for watching Franco TV. So today I'm gonna to be exploring a haunted mansion called the Stone Mansion. Apparently you could see someone that walks around here late at night with a candle crossing through the windows as if it's the 18th century. 
let alone the person who built this place wanted his privacy so bad that the main entrance is covered by a wall so no one can see his private space. There's a little bit more that goes into that that I'll get into later in the video. However, creaks and footsteps and all sorts of things go on here from what I've been told. Tonight I'm going to be spending the night here exploring this place till dawn, seeing what I can see. Enough with the talking and let's get into the video. These are the two front doors to the main entrance to this place. Unfortunately, I can't go outside because I have this place pretty well blocked off from the front door, but you can see the ice build up on the wall, on the window here for all the, how cold it is outside. It's like negative two or negative three. This is the main entrance here, as you can see. And he actually put up all these walls here so that way you can't see into the house because he liked it as privacy. I'm gonna take you guys into the first room, which is the piano room. It's actually one of my favorite rooms, to be honest. Uh, he was a control freak. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like really, you can feel the, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. The very stern, I'm surprised that the stairwells were open. Oh. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. Maybe that was all they could do then, or something. Or maybe not. Um, like they didn't make it into like a closet kind of thing mm -hmm. where you could, yeah. Mm hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, all right. Yeah. Look how beautiful this is. Thought I was gonna hit the wall. Last thing I wanna do is damage anything. Look at how beautiful this piano is. Let me close this door to keep the cold behind this door. It's a Baldwin. I get a, uh, a woman that plays the piano. I don't okay. know if it if it was at the time that people lived there or not. I Here's like the... Yeah, I was, I was about to say actually that somebody plays that piano. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just sit there, it gets, right. it gets played. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it could actually be, I'm going to say, nope, I think it's female. <laughs> yeah, I think there's, there's a, a woman that, that plays it. I was going to say, or it could be, um, in life was a man that had um, feminine energy or that real creative energy sometimes will be a very feminine, have a very feminine feel to it. But then I keep getting sort of a, a flash of a dress. So I think both things are true. Oh, okay. Okay. That really landed. Yeah. All right. All right, let's keep keep on a go. Beautiful piano, though. Oh, that room beautiful, was beautiful, beautiful house yes. so far, and we yes. haven't even seen anything. Yes, and I wonder why it's abandoned. But one of the living rooms here. I didn't want to forget to tell you guys, but this is actually one of his plaques for his tomb, General As. <laughs> if you guys know how to say that, let me know. A Sahel Stone Mansion. Um, this is one of his tombs and beyond this door here you could hear the sounds of what sounds like a little child which is supposed to be a girl uh, Wendy I believe playing with her toys or running it down up the staircase these are one of the windows here where you would see the apparition going from window to window some think it's the little girl Wendy some things some people think it's the general or it could be someone else the general, that would be the very controlling mm -hmm. male, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm trying to feel into is the woman that with the in the piano room mm -hmm. could that have been like maybe a, a girl, not quite as small as like the picture they showed, like maybe a teenager or something. But I don't think so. So as soon as they. They showed the little girl, and he was talking about the little girl. Um, I got these little trickster sprites is making that. Yeah. 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 
No wonder why they're there. I don't know. Hmm. Sometimes, if you guys know, if you've been watching a lot of it, sometimes we go down the rabbit hole of why, mm -hmm. and the why doesn't always really matter, but um, our ego always wants to know the why. Always. <laughs> always wants to know why. Yes. And since I got so affected by them, yes. um, I'm hoping to find out why. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you will, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's see. When the general was still alive, everybody from the houses or the townhouses that surround this building would always assume that he had underground tunnels that went from underground to the bank. And so he would take money from the bank and he would go into these underground tunnels back to this house. There was many, many rumors that he had hidden passages or little areas where he'll just get to even other people's houses. Especially for the workers that used to live in the back, there was a little tunnel that they used to think that he would go and spy and watch their workers for explicit reasons. Um, you know, explicit reasons. I don't know if I could say it, um, mm -hmm. but they would watch, but apparently That's no tunnels have been found yet. Me. This house is just a gigantic mystery. Look at the size of these windows. And the thing about Asahel, which is the general, again, it's, it's a real name to pronounce, but um, the way I'm going to pronounce it is Asahel, so sorry if I'm killing it. He was a small guy. Look how small the doorknobs are. My hip, it's like right there on my cell phone ring. Okay, I'm gonna... uh, so what he was saying about the general how he'd spy on people and everything. Mm -hmm. There was a real sexual component to that. Mm -hmm. A real sexual component. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think he, um, I don't think he met if he, he, it mattered to him, man or woman. I think it was just a sexual thing. It was just a... Uh, As to who he watched? Yes. I agree with that. Yeah. Like, it, it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. It was just that is what kind of... That was his fulfillment. Yes. Yes. Almost a fetish, really. Mm -hmm. What we might call a fetish. It was mm -hmm. a fetish. Um, so it wasn't... Yeah, there's a feeling... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think he did make like passes at some certain ones. And again, male or female didn't matter. You could, you, the picture that I'm getting is that he would spy on men and occasionally there would be one that he would sort of make a pass at, but it was the event of the spying that fulfilled, as you would say, fulfilled him. There's something about the passes that he would make mm -hmm. were just for show. Mm. He liked that. Mm -hmm. He liked, oh, he, he actually liked to be rebuffed. Mm -hmm. That thrilled him. It thrilled him to be um, someone to say no to him or rebuff him. Yeah. Um, I'm leaving that scenario because it's a little... Yeah, it goes it's it goes a down a, a place that I don't want to go either. Yeah, so yeah, because there's a lot more to then what he would do at, that would turn him on, and then what he would go do after that, and etc. So we're leaving that there. Yeah. And um, all right, so onward from where this is at, and then it has all that that goes all the way up there. This actually has a huge kitchen in the very back but it's now being used as storage. So I won't be going towards the back building. And down here basement. is the basement. I have the night vision going now. I'm gonna start asking questions. And seeing how this goes. Asahel. <laughs> That's a weird Asahel. name. But. Asahel, why did you build this house? Can you come closer to my K2? The black box in my hand? It was fitting of someone of his. What is the purpose of all these doors? 
not physical stature because he was big. There's a bit of a, like a, a short man complex, that, that term, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and he really had a huge ego about himself. Huge. And yes. part of it, I mean, becoming a, a general, that's a big deal. It is a big deal. And whatever that status was for him, mm -hmm. um, it meant a lot and he expected respect and et cetera. But <clears throat> what I got was, why did you build this big house? Like it was because- I'm of, a general. Yeah, it was fitting is what I heard. It was fitting. Mm -hmm. Like that's, what else was I gonna live in? Mm -hmm. What else would I do? Like this, yeah. So, yeah. very interesting. All right, are you ready? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> What did you not want the public to see? <laughs> That's a loaded question. Yes. If there's something you're hiding, can you come close to the black box in my hand? I don't mean any harm. I just want to know what's the secret to this place. Ah, so hell, I heard there was rumors of a secret love interest that you had in this house. He, I don't think he's going to. Was there a secret anything. love interest that you had? And would you trust me to, to talk to me about it? <laughs> By coming close to this black box in my hand? Is there any reason why you have the doors set the way they are? All that is like secrets that he took to, that he... Don was there. actually Asahel's wife's brother. But this is where it gets weird. Chuck. I keep hearing random movement like something stepping on the floor. Coming from back here. John uh, had a room with a secret, well, not a secret door, but a door right next to him that gave him access to going into Asahel's room. Uh -huh. This is where things get weird. Ding, ding. There are rumors that apparently John and Asahel had a hidden relationship with each other. And it was actually behind the wife's back where the wife would be in a separate room somewhere else, but Asahel would, or John would, would yeah. uh, Jesus, I keep seeing things with my eyes. I thought I saw like a shadow passing over, but it's, it's my own eyes. Um, <laughs> he would sneak into Asahel's room and that's where the magic would probably happen. Again, these are assumptions. Nope. They're not factual, but there are a lot of rumors that go by and rumors from people that actually seen it. But again, it's still rumors. Take it as you will, but when I get upstairs, I'm gonna show you that little door and what I meant, and that's what I was told coming here. I've been walking around pointing the camera all over this area. Nothing's popped up until I was focusing on the camera. Uh, At this I'm point, gonna I'm going to go ahead and now jump over to... Will not surprise me if something happens. I'm not sure if it, I really am not yet, if it's uh, the general or the brother Okay. that's there could possibly both be there, but I'm feeling one. And if Franco goes to that door that's in between, something will happen then. Because that is, um, they already know that he knows something because mm -hmm. they heard him talking. Mm -hmm. um, and then with the door, like that's a secret they want kept. A secret, that's what a secret is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it could, that could really unfold a lot more. Let me keep going. All right. Mm. Mm. The, see if it pops up. Can you move again? It's moving. It's like when I ask it to move, it moves. If you're John, can you move? If you're Asahel, can you move? Oh shit. I, I thought I saw something with the corner of my eye, I'm sorry. 
scared the hell out of me. Windy? I think it's a little bit too tall to be the to be windy. I'm actually getting hot now. The temperature went a little bit too warm. Lydia? So that I can hear the sounds of like. I'll stop. So what I get with that heat is the anger. Like he's getting dangerously close. To, to their secret. To their secret. Yeah. I was going to say the truth, but that's not to the secret. To the secret. To the mm -hmm. secret. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I do think you can feel someone like watching and pacing and around the, his periphery. I, I am leaning towards it being John. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that absolutely lands. Yeah. And I'm not so sure, too, that... What he saw out of the corner of his eye was one of those trickster sprites. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I say trickster sprite because it is of the... Oh, that's a much better way. Yeah. yeah. Saying trickster sprite. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Trickster, usually when I use that term, it's of a very low vibration. Yes. Um, yes. This is not. So no, I'm going to call it trickster sprite. I like that. Yeah. Man. Okay. Oh, I missed it. I heard it go off. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the other device now and seeing if I can get any responses. Let me get into it. Did you make tunnels? Where did you make it at? Is it beneath this very house? See. I guess this thing works like a spirit box. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna stop again. Um, so, when you asked the question, like he just asked the question, did you make tunnels? It's very easy to say, no. I was not the one in there digging the tunnel. So a question might be, are there tunnels or did you commission them or, you know, something like that where it's not because something more definitive. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So you, the, the response would be different. Yeah. With, mm -hmm. with a different question. And it could also baffle like, hmm? <laughs> or like, no, I didn't go you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. So. It was intentional. I'm saying the full word, but it sounded like it wasn't intent or it was intent. What was not intent mm. or intentional? It doesn't feel right. The relationship? I get more of... I also hear there's a spirit oh. of someone who walks around with a candle. I was not... I can't understand a word that thing says. Do you know who that might be? I know, I know Wendy likes to hide and play around in the staircase here. I Wendy, you think maybe you could talk Wendy. with me today? Not Wendy, Wendy. Do you know any of the mysteries? Wendy? God, it is so cold. Oh. I got something loud upstairs. Wendy? I don't know if that was the ceiling that I was hearing that from. But I it sounded like it came from... The word murdered. Oh. It's gotta turn out the... That could be anything. 
Just saying. I'm trying to see if it does it again. All right, at this point now, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the second floor. Let me go ahead and switch to my other camera. Go ahead and start making my way to the second floor. I was hearing noises up here earlier, but they're very brief. It almost just sounds like regular sounds. Could be the building settling, but it's still creepy. John? Mr. Asahel? I feel female energy up here. This freaking house is terrifying. This room here was Asahel's room. This is where the main owner, the general guy, would sleep at. But this is where the rumors came in. He had this door specifically built. That's who I saw. <laughs> oh, that woman. Okay. That was Lydia. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Okay. Um, as soon as he went into that big room, um, I saw her watching him watch the room. Yes. She is not happy. No. Mm -mm, she's not happy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She wants that secret to be absolutely erased from anybody's yes. mind. It was mortifying, oh. uh, embarrassing, um, all of the above. For her in life yeah. yeah okay well he's about to show the the door the door right mm-hmm okay so nice. i i don't i think i do think the wife knew and chose to just you know certainly in those days you just don't say you don't say anything mm -hmm. and then he was so controlling and bordered on abusive, she wasn't going to say anything. Mm -mm. And she liked her status in the community and yes. et cetera. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. <clears throat> so I had said earlier that I felt like it was, I was leaning towards it being John mm -hmm. downstairs. Well, I'm wondering now, was it her? Oh. Just presenting in that dominant. Sure. Male energy, quite possible. Absolutely. Because I don't feel a lot of spirit. Mm -mm. I don't at all. Like, I'm not feeling that. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm okay, mm let's keep going. For his wife's brother that would sleep in this room. And the rumors that are associated with this is that he would go into John's room, which was Jonathan. Um, and they had a relationship thing going on within that room. Um, but behind the wife's back. And so that's a very common occurrence of what I'm being told about this place. And they were just like, this is something that's in rumor and my light just turned off. Hell no. And that's I just charged this thing. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Please tell me I recorded that. The more he talks about it up there in that area, the yep, more I caught it. Out. I don't think it likes... Or he likes the fact that I just said that. I feel like I'm being watched through this door here. Okay. Jesus Christ. Mm. Sorry, I keep freaking hearing stuff. Hold on. Just make sure I'm all clear. Oh, wow. 
I didn't know there was like a little compartment in here with a suitcase. It was these three windows right here where neighbors from across the street, like the tour guide, she actually bought a house right there. I don't know if you guys could see it. She bought this house right here and they would constantly see people walking past these three windows here with a candle going back and forth. What the fuck was that? That sound like a gunshot. So, the people walking across, the candle, whatever, that feels mm -hmm. very residual. It, I agree. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Very residual. Mm -hmm. I have a headache. Yeah, me too. I think yeah. he's going to have a headache here soon. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Would not surprise me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's more. As he gets into it, more, more secrets they think could be revealed or whatever. And I'm not sure if they, it could just be, it could be the, uh, what'd you say her name was? Lydia? Lydia. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what's all going on here. I think there's more than we want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Blah. So, <laughs> so, uh, all right. Yeah. This is a good one. Yeah. I like this. I like this, this is a good one. one. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Yeah, let's see, let's see what happens. I can't tell what that was. Or if that came from upstairs. I'm gonna stop again. Someone died in this house. I got murdered. And I think it was looked at as maybe suicide or an accident or something, but it wasn't. And I think Lydia did it. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right. The twists yeah. keep happening. Yes. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, all right. Let's yeah. follow Franco. Okay. That just creeped me the hell out. Um, okay, so... Hello? I don't have my K2 on me. Oh yeah, there's something up there. Imagine you see like a raccoon fly out. <laughs> Asa Hill? That's the other room. Look at these intricate designs on the side of the door here. That's just the door latches, that's amazing. Anyway, I have a candle here that I'm gonna be using for his room since it appears that they're not happy that I'm here, or he's not happy that I'm here, whatever works. So I'm gonna put this right here on the window where apparently you could see someone with a candle walking from side to side. I'm gonna place that there. And I'm gonna go ahead and see if I could switch to an SLS and seeing if I could catch anything. I heard you like to walk in front of the window with a candle. I went ahead and placed the candle right in front of the window for you. Can you walk in front of my camera for me, buddy? Or sir?
Mr. Ross, really so how? Hmm. What the hell is that? I'm going to stop again. Like the energy is being drawn out of the room or any energy is going toward whatever. And I, I can't even say it. I, I don't know yet if it's a conscious something or if it's uh, uh, a ball of energy that has accumulated over time from many dimensions. The grids are totally screwed mm. up. So there's all kinds. Or if something has found its way here. Maybe. That. Because there was a lot of anger and grief oh. and all kinds of emotion in that yeah. home. All kinds. A lot of fear. Um, a lot of shame. A lot of shame. Yeah. Uh, when you said the energy being pulled out of the room, that's exactly the type of cold feeling I, okay. I have. Yeah. Um, there's a difference there's a difference between the colds when mm -hmm. you get cold it wasn't like a drafty cold like you know energy moving around me or by me or mm -hmm. an entity you know sometimes you'll get that cold yeah. feeling uh, no this was a very dry like <laughs> uh-huh okay <laughs> the kind that that makes you sick yeah 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 and no I won't get sick no Promise. no but there is um yeah. That's the kind that drains your uh, your energy. It's, it dries out your sinuses and mm -hmm. gives you a headache and all of that. Mm -hmm. All that fun stuff. All that fun stuff. Yes. Yeah. So. So I'm surprised he hasn't mentioned a headache yet. Yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Let's keep going. a bird it's coming from upstairs I think or downstairs nope upstairs Mr. Rasa help hello I don't know what that was. I don't know what he heard. I couldn't hear anything. It. What I heard was a really high pitched. Oh, okay. Um, I think it's the trickster sprites, I think. Okay. Or I thought. But then when it got to the top of the stairs and I was feeling in, I got a little nauseous, a little dizzy. Uh, um, so I'm not quite sure if it is the trick or trick. Uh-huh. Them. The them. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Don't know. Okay, let's keep going. I don't know if that was a bird. No. Or what? It's not a bird. <laughs> I want to see if I could hear it. Ooh, it's cold there. Look at his breath. Mr. Uh -huh. Osahel, can you do that sound for me again? That was a creepy sound. I just want to see if that was like machinery or a bird or an animal. I don't know if this place even has an attic. Let me see if I can look around. Look how creepy these rooms are here. I still haven't heard that sound again though. It sounded like it was like repeating or something.
see how many rooms this house has. That's, That's crazy. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start making my way towards uh, the basement. The basement I should be all set to go. Um, in there, we could probably look for where is apparently the hidden tunnels, if there is any, seeing if we could find any. Um, I guess I'll do a, like a spirit box session there or something. I'm gonna start making my way to the basement. At this point now, I'm gonna start making my way down to the basement. Now, I don't know if you guys watched the stream but on the live stream, I was actually standing right here. When I turned off this light, the K2 went off and I literally heard whispering coming from behind this door, which completely caught me off guard and pretty much scared the hell out of me. Okay. It just started going crazy. Did I do something wrong? Did you want me to turn on the light? See, that is what I'm talking about is weird. That doesn't make any sense. I've just been doing this for a minute. It is about six o'clock in the morning right now and the sun's actually coming out. So it's actually getting brighter. But so there's a lot of energy down there. A lot of uh, mm -hmm. like transient sort of flowing through energy, um, people going through the uh, earthies, moving through there. There's a lot. I think there is a doorway down there somewhere. Hmm. I could agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. Um, did you get any... When he was up on the third floor, mm -hmm. did you get any information from up there? No, I don't think so. Not that I remember. I would have. I. I would have said. I think. Um, it felt like kind of stale. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if this is from the third floor or if this is from the basement. Um, Lydia had prostitutes come to the house. And I believe she murdered one of them. Okay. That lands. I don't want to cry when I yeah. say that. Um, I think she may have done that up on that, that third, third floor. floor. Okay. Yeah. Now, are you sure they were prostitutes? Could they have been like unwilling, unlike, come for a job interview for a maid or um, something like that? Or were they... Like there's something, oh. there's something sort of sketchy around there. There is I, something sketchy. Yeah, that I can't quite, um, um, sketchy. I hate that term that, and I don't an know why I off, said that. Cause it fits. It fits. Yeah. Um, yeah. Th yeah. That is a real possibility. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what this is. There's some. There was some shit that went down in yeah. this in this, this is, place. This was a bad place. Yeah. There was mm -hmm. a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I would love to go there. Yeah. Except we couldn't <laughs> we couldn't cross anyone over, which would make me very sad. Yeah, that would be. That would make me very sad. Yeah. But um yes. So. All right. All right, let's keep going.
And what I was told from the lady that works here is that around this time, this place gets severely active, especially around five, six, and seven. Um, so I'm going to be staying here. I'm going to have a couple of equipment, trying to see if I could catch or see anything. Hopefully, if you guys see anything that I don't, That's when the please, like always, let me know in the comments mm -hmm. below, and I'll review it. Tapping on pipe is what it sounded like. Oh, okay. Nope, can't hear that. Um, it's very similar to how water would sound. You know, old pipes and water okay, would start uh -huh. to run through it and the pipes would... Okay make noise and mm -hmm. tap that's what that was like reminded me of okay which could be residual yep yep um and especially around this time the workers showing up yep. things are starting to get going for the house mm -hmm. um, yeah the energy is definitely starting to move yeah um back to those um prostitutes or yep. non what if i said yes she put out these job inter or these open positions and people would come and then she would hold them hostage or force them to work for her against their will that almost lands okay. like they're Still, some, there's, there's a piece in there that we're not getting. And I will, I will admit, yeah, I'm reaching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find as the why. As we do, yes, yeah. as we do. But that's yeah. what we do, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, so, there's something like maybe, um, you know, they had money. These people did. These people were in desperate need, um, so she could sort of abuse them. Um, something very nefarious yes, about her. Yes. Though. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very much so. It was not just like one-sided, like the husband was this narcissistic, bisexual, deviant. Um, yeah, <laughs> sort of like, you know, had these weird fetishes and so forth. Um, she was left to do her thing if mm -hmm. he was left to do his thing. Like, it was really ugly yeah and she had the means to then take out her anger and her disappointment and her everything on other people mm -hmm. yeah there's that's that's close but that doesn't fully land not quite me. not quite it yeah 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 gotta okay. let go of the why gotta let go of the why yep yes all right shall we keep going yep I think it's that but as you can see how frosty it was getting outside these are areas where the people that used to work here would sleep at but they would try to stay out of the way from the living quarters upstairs but this is where they would be at and you'll probably see more of them this used to be a record room from a gentleman named Roger uh, Roger used to collect records until he passed away um, Although, once he passed away, this is where it's been known that he haunts the area because this was like his man cave, so to speak. I now have the equipment for thermal imaging. I'm going to go ahead and be walking around seeing what I can catch with I'm the thermal imaging camera. All, but... <clears throat> Mr. Roger, do you mind giving me a sign that you're here? Just want to know I'm not alone down here. Oh, looks like somebody was like standing right there. He's not alone, but it's not Roger. Oh, look at that. It got darker. Yeah. Mr. Roger, can I come close to you? Yeah, yeah. That is odd.
Oh, we just started. You can see the eyes. But that looks like somebody's like into the wall. Or like someone's hiding against the wall. Mr. Roger? Do you mind talking to me, Mr. Roger? Sorry, this thing's making all sorts of noises. I'm gonna say that's a doorway, right? That's now. just an indention. That's the doorway. I think you might be right. Like the coldest place. Mr. That's Roger, I was wondering if you could talk with me. That it came up like that. Or step into the camera or be somewhere around me? Oh wow, that looks like, that's interesting. Oh no, what's going on with this thing? That looked like somebody was just walking, like standing right in front of the window. <laughs> this house is draining all my but it batteries. Did look like, yeah. It did look like there was someone standing there. Uh -huh. Yeah, it felt very residual though. It didn't feel, um, Let me think about that. I know it was it wasn't conscious, but it felt um, yeah. I think it was some accumulation of some low vibrational energy that ended up there. But trickster sprites might have had something to do with that. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, because that's the kind of stuff they do. <laughs> that's the kind of stuff they do. Trick, You're right. trick. <laughs> yep, and turned his thing off or yep. drained it or whatever that was. Yep. Yeah, yep, yep. They enjoy that. Mm -hmm. I think there are a lot of um, ghost hunters and things that come through here. And as you all know, the spirits get can get really quiet. Mm. And they don't want mm -hmm. to. I don't hear anyone getting, I don't hear any of the spirits Like, I don't feel the, I'm so yeah, sick of ghost hunters coming. I don't feel that. I did. No. We did feel anger that he was getting into Ooh, an area that yeah. this needs to be kept secret. Yeah. Um, and more secrets were being revealed as he was going through. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So what happens, too, is a, an entity can get angry, and that opens their energy up to then read that energy. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so I think these uh, little trickster sprites just, uh -huh. they just happen to be here. Um, because this doorway is here, yeah. there's a lot of in and out activity yeah. and oh, okay, this is a kind yeah. of a fun place to yeah. hang out. Yeah. I think there's several probably haunted homes around the area and they just kind of, cause that's what tricks, that's what those little sprites do. Yep. Yep. Yeah. They just kind of go around wherever they can kind of flit here, flit there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they need human activity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, dang, we're getting close to the end. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of sad about that. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I think this thing's dying. I literally have this thing charged. But look at the window before it dies again. Doesn't that look like a gentleman? Or someone's head there. I could be just an illusion, but it's changed shape. Looks like someone's right there. Yeah, Isn't I'm not sure why this thing is dying on me like that. The That's a first, and I still have some battery. Um, Into the area where I think yeah. I saw yeah. what looked like a dark shadow right there next to the window. Mr. Roger, are you standing anywhere near the window? Well, that happened at the same time. She's no longer alone. Mr. Roger, <laughs> would you like to talk with me? No longer alone. Yeah. What the hell was that?
You want me to leave? There's actually an entity there. Oh, no, 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 no. I could leave. Yeah, I hope you guys liked what you've seen. I'm finally done, and I'm actually excited that I'm done because I am freezing. It's been negative two well, all night, and it's slowly going up, and I can't feel, I can't feel oh, my hands or my cool. toes. So it's, I'm, I'm freaking frozen. Hopefully this is it for these adventures being so cold and I'm gonna be staying in the southern. I think I've learned my lesson. I had a tremendous time here. If you guys seen something in the videos that I didn't see, let me know in the comments below. And until then, I will no, see you guys yeah. in All the right. next video. All right. All right. So that was a good one. Now, the, the, uh, the title of this is Creature on the Third Floor. Mm -hmm. But at the end, he was down in the basement, right? And that's where something mm -hmm. actually was i mean i think there lydia was, lydia was up was definitely on the second floor yeah um i think i think the little trickster sprites were on the third floor um but downstairs there was more there going was, on down there yes like he that really could have spent some time yeah but they're more um there's a real feeling of they are the type that um, build up with time. Like the more you're there, the more sick you're going to get, the more they will move stuff and whatever. Like it's, it's um, there's different types of, of entities, of mm -hmm. earthies, of ghosts, whatever. And- um, I would not want to spend a week in that basement. No. no. You would be, by that time, mm -hmm. yes you will have been, you'd mm -hmm. be sick. Um, that thing had been, would be playing with you. You'd be just a little nutty. Like, uh -huh. what do I keep seeing? What is going on? Like, I, like it would yeah. just be not a great place to yeah. stay. Your sleep would be so oh erratic. If there, yeah. It'd if, be a constant wake up. Yeah. What was that? What's going on? Your bed would get shaked. Yep. You'd get touched. Yep. Like there's a lot going on down there. Yep. Yeah. So... I am still really surprised. He never talked about a headache. I know. Or anything. Nope. Yeah. Doesn't mean he doesn't have no, it's one. It's true. Didn't, doesn't at all. No. And you know, it could be that he said he's been so cold. Maybe he's just kind of going with, that's just kind of because I'm cold and whatever. And so he just true. didn't, didn't say. Just kind of, even kind of numb to it. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, thank right. you so much. Yeah. Thank um, you. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes. And uh, as always, if you have paranormal activity, please yes. reach out because it's just yes. not, um, it's not good to live in that. No. Um, it's not healthy for you. It it's isn't definitely at all. not good for the earthbound. Nope. Um, or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> you can reach us at theconsciousspirit.net yep. and you can also read their um, all of our services that we have, et cetera, yeah. and uh, get on the mailing mm. list, you know, whatever you want to do. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. subscribe. Yes. All right. And uh, we'll see, see you, you next, next time. time. Bye. Bye.